and welcome to the People Stimulus Check and Stimulus Package Update as of October 11th, 2020. I have to apologize to my viewers and my subscribers for yesterday that I was absent. I just I only had the only information I had to come across my table yesterday was how President Trump said he wanted a bigger stimulus package than the Democrats do. And that's all the news I had yesterday, so and I didn't really think, you know, it'd be worth my time to give you a 20-second report of what that was about. Instead, I'd like to give you a better report for today. Today, we found out that Mnuchin and Pelosi had a 30-minute phone call yesterday where basically Mnuchin offered the $1.8 trillion stimulus package for, for Pelosi. Well, what's the different? What is the difference between their $1.8 trillion package and Pelosi's $2.2 trillion package? Well, for one thing, if we remember originally in the $1.62 trillion package that they offered before the $1.8 trillion package, that they only wanted $250 billion for state and local assistance. Well, in this new offer, they took the $250 billion up to $300 billion. And then they also included a second stimulus check for $1,200 and plus $1,000 per dependent. They did not specify how many dependents. I'm guessing the same as the CARES Act, up to two, maybe up to three. And as well as the unemployment. They left unemployment as is, as at $400 a week, but they extended it to into 2021. The exact date is unknown on that one as well. <laughs> Let's see here. But the only problem was was they they took out the um, five hundred dollars that they offered the thousand dollars for the dependents. They took out those tax credits that they wanted that the Democrats wanted to include in their revised Heroes Act for the parents for child for child care and uh, you know stuff along children. They want to take those tax credits out. So I don't know if this one thousand dollar child pay includes adult dependents on the stimulus checks, but it, but it does allow un, it does allow certain undocumented undocu citizens that does not have a I ten or a social security number to get a stimulus check as well. Nevertheless, Nancy Pelosi, yeah, that's right, it comes back down to Nancy Pelosi, the the speaker and leader of the Democrats of the House of Representatives. She basically nixed the White House's $1.8 trillion offer, calling it one step forward and two steps backwards. Nancy Pelosi said that the $1.8 trillion plan lacks strategy to plant, strategy to basically crush the COVID-19 disease, a refusal to honor our heroes. Pelosi sees the $300 billion in the White House offer very unacceptable for the state and local assistance because I think she still wants the 500 to $1 trillion mark for that one. She says it is lacking the tax credits for children and for child care. The Republicans uh, offer of $25 billion for child care isn't enough compared to the $57 billion in the Revised Heroes Act. She called the Republicans' proposal for unemployment benefits very inadequate. Because as you know, she wanted the Democrats want six hundred dollars per week for unemployment going up until the end of January twenty twenty one, and the Republicans only want to do four hundred. And then the last and least thing on this one is, guess what it is, liability protection. But uh, she says liability protection is basically a poison pill. But Newt Mnuchin and Pelosi basically agreed to, agreed to work the weekend to reach a deal. And on Trump, yesterday Trump tweeted, COVID relief negotiations are moving along. Go big. Then later in the day, he said that he wanted a bigger stimulus bill than the Democrats and Republicans combined. Trump is making himself look desperate to the Democrats and the Republicans. It will ignorant and <laughs> irrelevant to the Republicans. He is looking so desperate that in less than 48 hours, he went from cutting off all stimulus talks to I want a bigger stimulus package than both Democrats and Republicans combined. So basically, the minute he got, I think he's still in the Walter Reed Medical Center with COVID, 
when he said he cut off all negotiations. And then they said 48 hours later, we have him saying continue stimulus negotiations, but I want a bigger stimulus package than the Democrats and Republicans want. Oh, wow. It's just really, really weird. Mitch McConnell did admit the country does need an additional stimulus package, but he's unsure of the timeline of when this may happen. He does not believe it will happen before November 3rd, which is the election day. And even if it does, even if it doesn't, we probably won't see one until next year sometime because President Trump will not stop being president until two months after he gets elected out, according to the sources I find that I've heard. Well, we all know Trump tested positive for the COVID-19, according to the New York Times. Well, <laughs> according to everyone, I should say. But according to the New York Times, upon being released, Trump first wanted to seem wanted to appear frail as the people saw him. And then he wanted to, and I'm not making this up, this is actually in the New York Times, so you can actually look it up. Um, he wanted to surprise everyone by ripping off his shirt to reveal a Superman t-shirt. Wow. So we have Captain COVID wanting to outdo the Democrats and Republicans on a stimulus package, well knowing that anything higher than what's already on the table offered by the Republicans will not be accepted by, sorry, offered on the table by the Democrats will not be accepted by the Republicans in the Senate because the bill and the price tag is way too high. Trump is desperate for stimulus, but the senators are not so much. So basically our Senate is not too much desperate for stimulus as much as Trump is. Trump wants a stimulus so he can show the American people that we need to keep him inside office and not someone else. But let's see here. <clears throat> So much. There is a few senators up for election, but the Republican senators don't see the need to pump one or two trillion dollars into the economy at all. In other words, the economy is the people. They don't see the point of pumping one or two trillion dollars into the people when they'd rather keep big business alive and crush the small people out there that are trying to smart up the small businesses. I have a few mom and pop shops here in Utah that actually are struggling because of this. It, because of the big business is crushing him out. But let's see, we have Mark Meadows. Steven Mnuchin was on a conference call yesterday with Donald Trump and the Republican senators. And these senators criticized the $1.8 trillion proposal, saying that the price tag is way too much. So basically, we are looking at, I don't know, I mean, we have, we have the President of the United States wanting a bigger price tag than the Democrats have. We have the Dem Stephen Mnuchin and Mark Meadows offering $1.8 trillion, Tennessee Pelosi, which she rejected. We have them offering the $1.62 trillion, which she rejected. We have them offering the $1.5 trillion, which she rejected. She went down from $3.4 trillion because the Republicans rejected that to $2.2 trillion, which was also rejected by the Republicans. So, the question really is, is do you, my viewers, actually see us getting a proposal, a stimulus proposal, hashed out and done before the end of this year with stimulus checks going out to the people who need it the most that are suffering and starving out there? And if you do, please let me know when you see this happening because I would actually like to put that in here. I mean, like I said, I mean, Nancy Pelosi is still trying to do um, the 25th Amendment on Trump, saying that he is not mentally fit to run this country. And I'm, I'm guessing she's basing it off the fact that he's changed his mind four times in less than 48 hours over the stimulus packages and how desperate he's showing himself to be because of the stimulus packages offers. And then we also have Mitch McConnell out there that also, right now he's he wants stimulus, but I don't think he wants checks to the people. I think he would rather have money going out to big business to try to keep our economy alive that way, not realizing that that's not going to help. Then we have Mitch, uh, then we have Steve Mnuchin, which is basically supposedly wanting more stimulus. We have many economists saying we need more stimulus. We have presidents of the Federal National Reserve Banks constantly getting on the politicians' butts saying, hey, we need more stimulus for these people. Our economy is going to crash. And when it crashes, it is going to take so long to get it back up and it's going to cause a lot, a lot of hardship. 
And the, most of these comments are also coming from other previous episodes I've done to back me up that this is what the, the Federal Reserve Presidents are saying. And how Pelosi and them also feel. But for now, I will actually end my broadcast. And like I said, if you guys like my content, please give me a big old thumbs up. If you want to hear my voice going through your ears even more daily, please hit that subscribe button and turn your notifications on. And until next time, you guys have a stupendous Sunday, an excellent night, and please stay safe out there. And remember, we are all in this together. You guys have a wonderful night. Bye.